So, still people, welcome back to the channel. So, guys, if you are planning to move to Canada and apply under Express Entry PR program, one thing you need to know is how you calculate your CRS score and what are the ways you can improve on your score. So, in this video, I'll share this vital information with you guys. And if you are new to my channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do so if you want to get updated regarding latest immigration videos and lifestyle videos on Canada. And guys, please do like this video if you find this informational. So without wasting any more time, let's start. Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can calculate your CRS score online for Express Entry System and qualify for applying Canada PR. So after calculating the score, I will share some tips on how you can improve your overall score as well. So I'm going to explain this by considering a real life example of a couple living in India. Let's start with the background of the primary applicant. So the name of the applicant is Santa Singh. Age is 27 and education is he is having masters in computers in India. Work experience of two years in Nog B in India. And then language score for IELTS. Speaking 7 bands, reading 7 bands, writing 6.5 and listening 8 bands. Family in Canada, he has a real brother who is a permanent resident in Canada. So just to make note of it, you cannot add your cousins in this application. So it has to be a real blood relation. Uh, it can be your mother, father, real brother or real sister. Now let's move on to the background for his spouse. Name is Panto Kaur. Age is 26, education is bachelor's degree in pharmacy and one year of diploma in India. Work experience is one year in Nog P and she has a language score in IELTS, reading 7 bands, listening 7 bands, writing 7, speaking 7 bands. And family in Canada is not applicable as she has no family living in Canada. Now let's start and calculate the CRS score for this couple. So open google.com and look for calculate CRS score online. So this will give you this link, click on it and scroll down. So based on your profile, you'll be entering the details. And basically we are looking for the CRS score of the couple Santa Singh and Bantokar. So let's start. So what is their marital status? Married. Is the spouse or common law partner a citizen or permanent resident of Canada? No. Will your spouse or common law partner come with you to Canada? So guys, there's an option that, uh, let's say you're applying for Canada PR. There's an option that you don't add your spouse in the application. That means she will not be accompanying you in the application. But that doesn't mean that you don't show that you are not married. So there is obviously an option here, but uh, you like 99% of the cases uh, the spouse is accompanying. So you will say yes here. And then how old are you? So Santa Singh was 27 years of age. And then comes to the level of education. So level of education for him was master's degree. Have you earned a Canadian degree diploma or certificate? So no, they have not been in Canada and the next one is official languages so you'll have to make note that your IELTS result is not older than two years so it should be between like uh, before you apply it shouldn't be older than two years so we'll say yes because his IELTS was valid so his score is speaking and speaking he got seven bands and then listening eight bands reading seven bands again and then in writing 6.5 so do you have any other language results so if you have fluency in french or you know french you can give following uh, like these three exams that is tef canada tcf canada if you have french obviously it will boost your crs score but if you don't just say not applicable and then comes the work experience section so in here, obviously you need work experience in order to qualify for this program. You need work experience in NOC 0A or B. So our client had experience in NOC B, but not in Canada, because here you'll see 
how many years of skilled work experience you have in Canada. So we will say not none or less than one year. In the last 10 years, how many years of foreign skilled work experience you have? So here we will say two years because he had two years of experience. Do you have a certificate or qualification from Canadian province or territory or federal body? So this is basically related to federal skilled trades program. So if you are applying under that program, you need a certificate or kind of a license from Canada. So you have to come here and go for that license. Only then you can say yes, but in our case, it's no. So do you have a valid job offer supported by an LMIA in Canada? So if you have a job offer, make sure it, it is supported by LMIA by the employer. So in our case, we don't have a job offer. We'll say no. Do you have a nomination certificate for, from province or territory? This is basically talking about PNP. So if you don't have PNP, just say no. If you have it, say yes. It will give you additional 600 points. And then it comes to do, does your spouse or common law partner like both your spouse and yourself, do you have any brothers or parents living in Canada who are PR? So our candidate had a brother in Canada, so we will say yes. And then it comes to the, what is the highest level of education your spouse or common law partner has? So Bantukor had a bachelor's degree in pharmacy and she had a diploma. So we will select two or more certificates, diploma or degrees. One must be program of three years or three or more years. So we will select go with this one. I hope this is clear. If you have doubts, like while selecting your education, you're not sure which one to go for. You can obviously comment below in the description box. I will let you know. So now we have in the last 10 years, how many years of skilled work experience in Canada your spouse or common law partner have? The Bantokar was in India and she doesn't have any experience in India. She had one year of experience, but that will not count. So none or less than one year. Did your spouse or common law partner take a language test? Yes, she did. She did IELTS and she got seven bands in each. That's all the data that it required for this application. So in the end, you click on calculate your score. So here are your results. You have to scroll down. It's, it's calculating based on each of the factors that we have put in. So the grand total of this couple turns out to be 415, which is quite less when we talk about the recent cutoff that was 471 last week. So let me discuss with you guys on how they can improve their scores. First one is to improve on their IELTS score. If both primary and secondary applicant can score more on their IELTS, that will considerably boost their CRS score. The next option they have is get more experience as age is on their side. This option only works for primary applicant as for secondary applicant, the work experience outside Canada will not count. Third option is come to Canada as a student. This will add points for your education in Canada and eventually when you get work experience in Canada, that will also boost your score. And the last option that we have for this couple is that if one of them can get a job offer from Canada, so that will also help to boost their score. Preferably, it has to be primary applicant who gets the job offer. So guys, that's all for today's video. If you still have doubts after watching the video, do let me know in the comment box below. Obviously, you can also follow me on Instagram. Send me a message there and I'll try and help you out. Please and please, please, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for this video if you found this informational. And until we meet next time, like always, bye-bye.